Assalamu alaikum ninjas and welcome back, peace be upon you, ni hao, dobdoshi nazad. Here we go, finally, a rugged device from Okitel company. Big, big shout out for the Okitel company for sending this review sample. I think I'm gonna be, uh, I'm doing an exclusive review first person to do a full review of this device. I hope I'm gonna first publish it. Uh, anyway, what is specific about this device? I think it's very noticeable. Check this out. <laughs> This is, guys, the heaviest, the largest smartphone I ever reviewed in my life, and I'm rev doing reviews since 2015, so seven years, I never saw a bigger device than this one. Why? It has a huge battery capacity, huge battery unit inside of it. 10,000? No. 15,000? No. 17,000? No. 21,000 mAh battery inside of this huge brick, guys. Obviously, this is not a... Uh, let's just say, a co let's go to the coffee phone or a school phone. Uh, you will need to have a bag to c carry this one. A mini bag or something like this is going to be very heavy to hold it in your pocket. I don't know uh, what kind of person can hold this kind of thing in a pocket. Nevertheless, this is for the workers, for people who want to have maybe a battery smartphone which can handle a few days screen on time, which is crazy. And indeed, it can handle a lot of, lot of uh, tasks without charging this device. Uh, what else can I tell you? So sell selling points, the price tag will be around $300 bucks, which is really good, good price tag. It's not expensive, especially now in 2022 when many different stuff went up 50%, 100%. I'm still not sure how Chinese can sell these phones without raising the price 50 or 100% up. I'm not sure how they're selling it still for prices uh, before the Corona times. Uh, don't ask me how, but it's good for us. Obviously, it's good that you still can buy affordable, rugged devices under $300 in this crucial times. And we're selling points. Uh, it has a massive display, which is very interesting. It has a 90 hertz screen. Yes, a 90 hertz screen IPS LCD panel. 8 GB of RAM, 256 GB of storage, UFS 2.1, SD card expansion, it does have NFC, it does have a 3.5 mm headphone jack, a Type-C USB port, and dual SIM acceptable slot, 2 plus 1 if I'm not wrong, yeah? Uh, it does have also SOS button, waterproofed camera, waterproofed speaker, uh, of course waterproofed uh, Type-C port and 3.5mm throw jack because they're covered. It has a 64 megapixel back camera, 20 megapixel front camera and uh, yes, we will see what else uh, in this video so watch it till the end. Anyway, I hope you're gonna enjoy this video. You can buy it on AliExpress, Amazon. I will be leaving the buying links in the description. Uh, if they're going to provide the buying links, because still, uh, as the time of today, there's no buying link for this device and can't wait to release this video. Uh, so yeah, enjoy. Let's go. Bismillah. Okay, Bismillah. So let's begin. Firstly, of course, with the hands-on, guys. Hands-on footage of the Octel WP19. Uh, by the way, guys, remember that this phone is not yet released. Uh, uh, of course, I'm going to schedule this video, so I don't know when they're going to uh, leave the buying links and also official specs. So far, I don't have all the full specs, so I can't tell you. Uh, I'll be just guessing, obviously. Anyway, we have... Uh, brick of the phone the th thickest biggest heaviest uh, largest phone that i ever got in my life guys like i said at the beginning nevertheless uh, what you can expect when it has 21,000 mh battery it's like two phones man two rugged phones connected in one rugged phone volume rocker and power button on the right side screws like you see by yourself on the bottom we have type c with a 3.5 mm headphone jack like you see by yourself covered uh, waterproofed uh, on the left side we have sos button and sim card uh, plus uh, sim card basically and SD card slots. Remember, and remember that two plus one. On the top, we don't have anything. On the back, we have here. Uh, I think we have three cameras, isn't it? And flashlight here, 64 megapixel camera. Additional here for the IR mode, I think so. And on the bottom, we have a speaker. Like see, myself, we have speaker over here and a small part to attach maybe uh, a bell, basically some rope or something like this. Yes, a security rope. That's it. Massive screen guys, massive screen indeed. So far, uh, obviously we have here the proximity light sensor, selfie camera, earpiece on the top. On the bottom we have slightly medium thick vessels, side uh, also normal, top also normal for a rugged device. So far, this is a crazy score. I don't know what how to even comment on this guys, good or bad. <laughs> wow man, wow, seriously wow. So we have combination of metal, polycarbonate and TPU, remember that. That looks, by the way, this back looks like a leather. It looks a little, a little bit like leather, isn't it? Anyway, uh, let's now move to the screen review, shall we? 
Okay, beginning guys, what I need to say, and this happened many, many times, even with the Xiaomi device, Yumi DJ device, the HDR videos uh, kind of have a messed a glitch bug that uh, the colors are washed. So unfortunately, even with this device, I'm not sure what is the mistake, mistake of YouTube, maybe video decoder or, or the phones. This is not the only problem with the Okitel smartphone, it happens even with the Redmi Xiaomi devices. So uh, just select non-HDR video. Select non-HDR video for watching videos over the YouTube. There we go. And by the way, you can watch on YouTube over 2K resolution, guys, which is crazy. Check this out. Awesome, man. Awesome. There's 30 FPS non-HDR video. And you can see by yourself here, the huge differences in the colors. And now it's much, much richer, beautiful, uh, enjoy, enjoy, enjoyable, just enjoyable colors here. The wash colors with the HDR bug is just terrible. Seriously terrible. Anyway, so what do we have guys? We have a 6.78 inch screen, super large, we can even say it's a 6.8 inch, and IP, uh, IPS, it seems that the LPS, uh, LTPS Insel technology, uh, what I was shocked, and uh, so far we don't have a full, uh, full official specs guys, is that this device, let me just show right now, I'm going to go here back, we're going to go now to the display size, and we have here option for screen refresh rate. Check this out guys, so this rocket device has a 90 hertz IPS panel. LTPS panel install technology, that is beautiful man, that is seriously beautiful, that's why you noticed here very beautiful smooth uh, experience with this uh, basically monster, check this out, it's very very smooth and of course you can play games up to 90 FPS, this is very cool, isn't it? Here we have another video, uh, 2K resolution, 30 FPS, non-HDR video, very rich screen. Love it, man. So it seems that it does have a Corning Gorilla Glass protection. Uh, screen brightness is 480 nits, uh, peak brightness, I think so. And a 1100 contrast ratio for LTPS. Obviously, this contrast ratio is just completely normal. So uh, for 300 bucks, guys, obviously, uh, if it had AMOLED panel with the brightest screen, etc., I think it would be even more expensive. Maybe 380, 370 dollars, something like this. For now, I'm more than satisfied by this uh, IPS panel. This uh, just, it's really nice. It's really, really nice. Uh, it's kind of let's just say balanced decent screen here which you get for the money and also it is uh, bright it's a, it has a really nice good brightness levels uh, let's go now continue by the way if you want to check here maybe typing let me just show you how it looks like by the way, I do have really hard, like large NBA style basketball hands. I said that so many times. So maybe you think that this phone is very small. It's not small, guys. My hands are big. My hands are big. So far, the uh, touch sensitivity is spot on. Hectic vibration is also very strong if you care for that. P and edge detection here for the letters on the keyboard works just fine. Hope you're enjoying these videos, isn't it, man? Uh, anyway, now if you are caring for the brightness, let's go now and show you the brightness here. This is the maximum brightness. This is the lowest brightness for night mode. I wish that it's uh, lower. I wish that it's lower. This is 50%. For indoor use, to be honest, this is just fine. I don't think you should even go more than 50% for the indoor use. For outdoor use, of course, you're going to go to the maximum. This is how it looks like. Awesome, man. Awesome. Very fluid. Halo G95. Uh, anyway, let's move next. There we go. Sound test. Speaker test, guys. Finally. It's on the back. Beatbox only, halal songs, vocals only cover, SM3W, also halal, only voices in background, sorry for that. Mike Crook, rapper with a beatbox only in the background. Anyway, it's a pass pass guys, it's a pass pass, let's check the headphones, here we go, yes, you have a headphone jack, nice, decent, from 1 to 10, I'm giving it 7 score guys, remember Rocket's devices don't have a really amazing sound chips as the regular devices, that's completely fine, especially because they need to have a sound uh, waterproofed, uh, obviously, uh, protection over the speaker on the back, and obviously, uh, I don't regarding 3.5 millimeter. Just basically, uh, throughout the history in the past, I never uh, got a better score than with the regular device. I mean, it's just normal. It's completely normal. It's a pass pass score. Uh, let's check it out. Does it have an FM radio? I think it should have an FM radio. Yes, it has FM radio. Check it out, guys. It works. Awesome. 
Very fast, very accurate. Love it. Of course, you can enable here the speaker and then go to the next track. Let's go next. By the way, the speakers are very loud right now with the radio FM. I'm not sure why. <laughs> very loud. Woo, that is so loud. And of course, for the end, regarding the audio review of any device on my uh, YouTube channel, let's check it out the mic quality. I recorded something. Let's do it. Mic check quality. This is the mic check test with the Octel WP19. My mouth is 40 centimeters away. One, two, one, two. Check the mic quality. My mouth is just a few centimeters away right now. Check the quality. We're having a great, great day. Oh, yeah. come on, guys. That is that is a nine score. That is a nine score. Wow, well, that's very loud and clean, man. That's very loud and clean mic quality here with the Octel device. Great job, man. Great job, Octel. So guys, I was very shocked. In gaming is also very loud. In radio, FM is very loud. YouTube, maybe because of the audio recording of the YouTube, some uh, tracks will not be that loud as they are in a different uh, uh, IC test. Let's go next. Pass, pass. The video and audio, basically, yeah, the screen and audio side of this device is a pass, pass for me. Okay, just finally now we're gonna move to uh, a little bit of the performance wise of the Octel, uh, the Octel smartphone here. Let me just change a little bit uh, the wallpapers. I wish that they have more wallpapers in the background, but hey ho, what we can do. This is the home screen right now. Let's leave it like it is right now. So uh, check this out. It has 8 GB of RAM. Yes, 8 GB of RAM and 256 GB of storage UFS 2.1. You have an SD card expansion. And so far what I'm seeing here, sorry for those vibrant notifications in the background. Uh, I'm amazed how fluent, uh, fluid and fast this device is. Uh, check it out. By the way, you have a very basic Google Apps and additional maybe some like a rugged device tool, tool bag. Let's just say like tool bag. Uh, in this app, you have, uh, let, let, me just, let me just open. We're going to go back. Just a minute. Open it again. Why it exit like this? I'm not sure. Maybe I need to go like this. Yeah. So noise detection, protect, uh, pr protractor, compass, plumb, timer, voice simulation, and magnifier plus torch. Uh, that's normal and some other stuff. But I'm amazed by the performance. Let me just show you right now. So this is the Helio G95 chip, an octa-core chip built on 12 nanometer chip technology. And regarding the uh, GPU, we have a Mali G76 GPU. Android 12 fresh out of the box, guys. Android 12. So it's very rare to find a rugged device that comes fresh out of the box with Android 12. So again, there's another reason why uh, it's worth $300. Uh, a lot of cool stuff uh, in this monster. A lot of cool, uh, cool stuff in this monster. So again, you probably noticed how fluid it is using this device. You would expect that it has some really good mid-range Qualcomm chip and not this, let's just say, uh, the highest level of low end from MediaTek because the Halo G series are still for me uh, the best uh, low end uh, chipsets from the MediaTek. For now, mid range uh, chipsets from MediaTek are the Mensity series 700, 800, etc. etc. Maybe some of you will not agree with me, maybe you will, but hey ho. Anyway, that should be it. Let's go now to the sensors. Regarding the sensors itself, you do have accelerometer, light, proximity, magnometer, and gyroscope. Unfortunately, there's no barometer with this one. That is completely fine. That is completely fine we do have also night vision when you want to use the night cam and you can see by yourself here uh, you can everything is visible in the dark with this back camera on the night uh, on, of course on the back and that's also one of the reasons to buy this device so far performance wise is absolutely insane i'm more than satisfied by the speed uh, of course we have additional features intelligent assistance smart key which you can assemble from here uh, display modes accessibility sos security so uh, of course we do have also fingerprint sensor and face id which we're gonna test right now for now we have sd card expansion nfc support guys yes let me just show right now i forgot to show you the nfc support check this out so altogether crazy good package crazy crazy good package for 300 dollars let's now che check and test the fingerprint and face id let's do it oh I forgot something. Hey, Mohammed, slow it down. I forgot to show you the Geekbench 5 score. Ooh. Here it is, guys. This is the Helio G95 score, latest Geekbench and latest Android 12 with the Helio G95. 500 almost single score and 1500, 1600 multi core score. Nice. Okay, let's begin with the fingerprint sensor.
There you go, guys. Under 0 0.3, 0 0.4 seconds. Very fast, very reliable. 10 attempts, all successful. <laughs> cool. Okay, let's go now. I registered my face. Let's do it. Bismillah. Not bad, but fingerprint sensor is almost two times faster, guys. Uh, maybe more optimization in the future for the Face ID, but it is reliable, it always unlocks. It just needs uh, uh, to be a bit more quicker. Anyway, great job, we, can tell. we love that. Okay, guys, so regarding the battery-wise, we mentioned at the beginning, 121,000. The charging uh, charger inside, it's a 33 watts fast-supported charger. So basically, it does have maximum 33 watts of input of the power, and that's the fast charging rate you can get with it. Uh, anyway, uh, battery-wise, uh, how much you can get uh, approximately for YouTube? Check it out, guys, about uh, how much is left at 90% a day and three hours. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> A lot, it's crazy, seriously, it's crazy. Uh, by the way, guys, I used YouTube and it only drained uh, 1% for half hour. Basically, you can get around 2%, uh, drain 2% for one hour. 2% for one hour. Basically, you can get around 50 hours, 50 hours of usage of YouTube videos. That is insane, man. I, I don't know, that is seriously, seriously insane. By the way, this is not, uh, this is not true. I didn't use, uh, I, the battery didn't rate for 22%. That is in, in, incorrect, completely incorrect. I don't know why it's showing. Check it out, guys. I'm having here 89%. So I done whole review of the device, gaming, YouTube, etc., etc., testing here, speed test, the performance, uh, downloading, everything, guys, at 90%, and check it out, guys, how much uh, all of these applications I tested, and it only drained 11%. That is insane. That is insane. Seriously insane. Plus, remember, with the YouTube at half hour, more than half hour of YouTube screen on time. All of this. And... <clears throat> So yes, so far, I can't tell you more, more than that. This is it. Uh, this is what you're paying. Like I said, you get two rugged devices in one. Usually, uh, standard rugged devices have 10,000 mAh battery. This one has 21,000. That is insane. Seriously, insane to have a 50-hour screen on time watching YouTube videos. <laughs> Let's go next. Okay, so we're gonna go with the camera just to show you a little bit the UI here, what you get. Uh, slow motion, night, professional, selfie panorama, macro lens. It does have a macro lens, 64 megapixel back camera, Samsung sensor, and 20 megapixel selfie camera. We have a night vision, which uh, I hope I'm gonna test it also for you, or I'm gonna make a special video regarding that. And we do have also 4K support uh, regarding the videos, guys. Check it out, 4K support, which is a little bit very weird when I'm using 1080p. 1080p doesn't look that uh, high res video quality, while 4K looks just uh, really beautiful. And now we're gonna show you the samples. Let's begin. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, this is a 4K test right now. And help footage without the EIS enabled. Okay. I repeat again, this is without the EIS enabled. Can you just, this is the Okitel WP19 camera test. This is the front selfie camera. I can see myself. A rugged phone. It's completely normal, the average camera performance for a rugged device. Okay, checking here a little bit close up video and the book in the background. Very nice, guys. I think you, most of you will agree with me that this is a nice quality for a rugged device. There's a dog there in the background, but with a blur. Awesome. So far, good frame rate. I'm gonna just put it down, and that's very loud. I just put it around 70%. I don't want to shout on the camera. Ah, <laughs> nice. left and right different new angles awesome octel wp19 21,000 mh battery guys agb of ram 90 hertz screen ip68 69 military grade 
How to go up, man? How did he even climb up, bro? Ah, okay, okay, here we go. Okay, ninjas, for the end, should you buy this Okitel WP19? What are my recommendations? Simple, yes or no? Simple, yes. Uh, but guys, for right now, in the times when the prices went so high, $300 for a rugged device with all these features, it's a good price tag. It's a good price tag, guys. Obviously, it's not very, very cheap. Uh, many, probably many, some of you we can't afford uh, to pay for rugged device $300. But all these specs, uh, uh, in my opinion, uh, with a balanced view here, I say yes, you can buy it. It's a good deal. Uh, anyway, the buying links will be in the description. You can purchase it on uh, Octel website, AliExpress or Amazon, I will leave all the buying links in, in the description when they release uh, this device and I will add obviously the link for official uh, specs if you want to check. For now, I don't have them because this is still pre-release unit which I'm having right now for review. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Ma'asalamah.